Abby O'Brien found out how the Charleston Warriors sled hockey team is helping some of our most vulnerable veterans. At the Carolina Ice Palace, there is a team that knows a lot about camaraderie. Well, I spent six years in the Air Force right out of high school. I spent six and a half years in the world's greatest Navy. I was in the Navy for six years and uh, my brother kind of talked me into going back in the Army Reserve. Founder of Charleston Warriors sled hockey, Mark Fountain, spent most of his life in the military. I found myself being uh, retired from the military due to uh, injury and illness. Going through a lot of what other veterans do as far as trying to figure out who I was going into a world I more or less wasn't prepared for. Getting involved in Warriors hockey gave him a new sense of purpose. It helped me immensely and I've seen what it's done for other folks. While teaching others how to use the sled is challenging, learning is perhaps more difficult. Today was my first day on the sled and I tell you, definitely a different experience. David Walter has always been a hockey fan. Now he can use it to give back. I would like to be able to provide an outlet so that they feel whole again. Justin Myers is one of those veterans who sought an outlet. Most of the fleet knows me from the 2010 pirate attack uh, against USS Ashland. Being back home has been tough at times. I have personally had a lot of friends lost to suicide and what this is about is keeping the distraction and, and giving up sense of purpose. The group is just getting started and is already giving others a sport, sense of purpose. So when's our next practice? And a team. But they all know that teamwork and camaraderie and when they're here, they're hockey players first. You know, no one looks at their disability. Reporting in North Charleston. They're here to play hockey. Abby O'Brien. And, and that's what they are. Live 5 News. Now the group is 100% nonprofit and run by volunteers. The team will play an exhibition in mid-January at the Stingrays game. If you'd like more information on how to get involved, you'll find it at Live 5 News.